Hi, I'm Aru. I'm the owner of Sushi Airways. We are an aircraft-themed Japanese restaurant based here at Baghdad Street, which is right next to Haji Lane in the Arab Street area of Singapore. So now you can take a flight to nowhere right here from Arab Street. Come follow me and I'll take you for a tour. Here we have the handle of our entrance door, which is based on the pilot steering wheel of a DC-3. Here we see our boarding time where you can board for lunch and for dinner. As you approach the aircraft, you will see the landing strip uh, uh, as like a runway and, and then you board the platform, old style boarding platform as you move up the aircraft, up the stairs into the aircraft. The DC-3 is an aircraft which first flew in 1933 forms the basis of the theme for the entire restaurant. As you enter, uh, on your right, you'll be greeted by a video showing um, light flight landing sequences from the cockpit uh, of a DC-3. Uh, the DC-3 was the uh, first airplane I had ever flown in and I had the chance to be in the cockpit then back in 1966. So when I had the chance to open this restaurant and I recognized that the, re the restaurant had a lot of windows, I decided to use that concept, that, that design that element as a, the basis for a plane uh, concept. And from that we, we further um, developed it into a Japanese restaurant and um, uh, develop a team of birds and flight fully into the concept of the, of the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant is about 700 square feet and right now we can seat about 20 passengers at a time. In the kitchen itself, you will find genuine aircraft storage units uh, holding uh, cabin equipment. These are working flight trolleys, as you can see, and uh, with glasses for passengers. The aircraft is um, fully utilized in the fact that it's a narrow, long-body aircraft and the windows on one side and the cabin services on the other. Uh, we have just installed these uh, safety panels uh, to provide added safety uh, because of social distancing. The cabin lights are very similar to what you would find in an aircraft your overhead lights um, and your reading lights. Now that you can't travel to Japan, you can have a taste of Japan uh, with all the different Japanese elements reflected here in the miniature Japanese ceramics. The chef has uh, gone to Japan and collected a whole collection of Japanese ceramic, miniature ceramics, which uh, will be used uh, to plate your food depending on what you're eating. When you board Sushi Airways, you will, like when you fly, get a boarding pass to allow you to enjoy the best of what the airplane has to offer. You will be ordering your food from a flight manual. Okay. As you flip the pages, you'll see our signature grilled lobster with honey sauce and be introduced to our starters and the design of the menu follows, uh, uses the blueprint of the DC-3 in all its pages. It's starting from the nose, as we move through, we will be introduced to the midpoint of the aircraft, the sushi and sashimi. And here you can see the makimono, with the passenger seats being represented by the maki rolls in its cut elements. One of the key elements of design for Sushi Airways is the Japanese origami bird. Here shown in ceramic form is a Japanese chopstick holder. It, by, it brings together food and flight and Japan in one singular element 
and let's show you how the chopstick holder functions.